Today, we learn about how to scalp with order blocks. How do I keep taking winner scalps? How do I find supply and demand? And how to identify those key levels with price action structures? In the final section, I'll show you all the real trades that I took. We have so much to do. If you're ready, let's start. Welcome our free trading course, all about price action trading strategies and smart money concepts. With this video, I'll cover the basics of New York opening trades. If you are looking for a structured table of contents, I set it up for you. You can find it on Google Drive or directly from my website, which is in the description. Let's talk about scalping and how I took four winner scalps in one day. Most people think that scalping is all about low time frames, but it is 100% the opposite. It is all about high time frame reaction points. As you can see, this is the daily chart of Bitcoin. And you remember this mega imbalance. I and most of my Twitter followers traded this imbalance a lot. The price kept bouncing inside this imbalance until it got weak. Finally, it reached this nice daily order block. This is also an FTR or you can call it IC. Please watch the FTR and IC lessons. They are very important and you must understand the meaning behind these candlesticks. Let me zoom out a bit from the chart and see what we have here. As you can see, this is also a very important support and resistance flip area. So we have imbalance, order block, and SR flip. Excellent reaction point for me. Let me take a closer look in this area. Now switch to the one hour chart. Let's see what is really happening here. Again, we are trying to understand the price. As I said before, entering a trade is the easiest thing in the world, but we must understand the price first. I want you to notice these equal lows. One inside the imbalance and the one above the daily order block. Do you think that this happened randomly? Not at all. Notice once the equal lows hunted, how the price fused a short term rally upwards, right at the high time frame key structures. Now, I will zoom into this area. Remember, this is inside the daily order block right after the equal lows hunted. Keep this in your mind, do not forget. Right now, we are looking at the one minute chart. Okay, as you can see, we started the scalping analysis from the daily chart and then with the hourly chart. Now we are in the one minute chart. What is happening here? Notice this low and how the swing failure pattern happens. Then notice this equal lows hunt. As you can see, the price is fractal. What happened in the one hour chart now happens with the one minute chart. No difference at all. Okay. Let's have a much closer look at scalping. Starting with the first trade, right after equal lows hunted and the swing failure pattern, price manipulated the all early long traders. Then it shifted the structure, as you may see. Notice the quality of this break, strong green candlesticks, and check this balance price range out. Very well designed. Okay, where is the order block? Technically, all these red candlesticks in a row presents the full order block. But if you know how I trade, I like extreme points. So the last candlestick will be your extreme part of the order block, which is also the dragon fruit. As a scalper, my overall aim is to end the trade as soon as possible with the closest target. Why? Because minute charts are extremely volatile and change the trends a lot. It can easily stop you out. This nice imbalance with downtrend liquidity is a priority target. And another thing makes it special. The round number is 25k. This was the first quick scalp of the day. Let's look at the second trade. Now, this was a counter trade. Remember, my direction is up. I am expecting a bounce from the daily order block. 
but the price needs fuel to go up. What are my fuels, liquidity, and imbalance? Once I noticed this swing failure pattern at the top, I waited for a structural shift for a quick short. As you can see, the structural shift happens right here. Now we had a tiny imbalance right here, which was also at the 25k round number. And we have the order block and the breaker block. So, four structures collided with each other. Imbalance, order block, breaker block, and the round number. This is how I took the short trade. But I wanted to end the trade as soon as possible because my main direction was up. I knew that this imbalance and indecision candlestick was a great bounce point for the up movement. Let's move to the third trade. Actually, at this point, I finished the day. I always try to take one or two trades per day at maximum. Let me clear the chart. Since this was my third trade, I reduced my risk a lot. From now on, I will only have fun trading. Okay, let's remember, price shifted the structure right here. After that, it made the first break of structure. Check this out. One minute indecision candlestick and the imbalance. Does it remind you of something? Yes, go back to the one day chart. 100% the same thing is happening. This is what we call fractalism. One day or one minute, all the same. This trade was also supported by the optimal trade entry and the discount zone. I also had these nice equal highs above as a quick target. This was another quick trade ended well. Nothing overly complicated. With practice, it will all come to you. Okay, fourth and the last trade of the day. This was just another fun trade with very low risk and no expectations. Once I noticed this considerable swing failure pattern, I noticed this break and the giant imbalance. But I did not enjoy this break so much. It looks weird, is it not? Then waited for another break. I just watched the price for much better break and for a great imbalance. Remember, if the first MSP or break is weird or you have questions in your mind, do not trade it. Wait for the second break. No need to rush anything here. And we had the order block right below the imbalance, our dragon fruit. This was a cozy trade with a late entry, which also had a large stop loss. As you can see, three longs and one short. The price bounced 10% from my first entry. If I kept the first trade, it would have been a 50 hour trade, it could have been a world record. But let's not dream, but stick to our rules and the reality. Okay folks, I hope you gained some knowledge about how to read the markets and identify the key zones before trading. If you have any questions in your mind, please leave a comment below. I'm happy to answer them. If you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like for me. Thank you, take care and see you soon.